So the next question is from my good friend Joshua. Uh, I know he's been following the ketogenic diet and more recently the carnivore diet. And he has a lot of questions and sorry Josh, I haven't been able to keep up on my emails, but uh, I have been reading them all and actually writing things down and have some notes to give to you. And I'll, I'll just follow through with uh, kind of this video uh, blog to discuss some of the ones uh, because they are quite common. Uh, so uh, Josh is following Dave Palumbo's version of the ketogenic diet and this is a popular diet among the bodybuilding community uh, more than 10 years ago, I mean maybe 15 years ago. Uh, Dave Palumbo has been advocating for uh, more like high protein, moderate fat, very low carbohydrate diet uh, which uh, appears to be pretty effective uh, for a number of people being introduced to the ketogenic diet, if protein's high enough, you can um, you know, maintain muscle and even build muscle, although probably not an ideal diet to build muscle uh, on it. But for body composition changes, I think, there's probably no better diet than a modified ketogenic diet approach. And I've been an advocate of that. Uh, so when Joshua was following Dave Palumbo's version of the ketogenic diet, and I had mentioned I had seen this to you, that I had seen this too, uh, his ketone levels were 1.7, and uh, when he did a cheat meal, which is something that we can discuss too, uh, the benefits, pros and cons of a cheat meal, but uh, this version of the diet does advocate for a weekly cheat meal, uh, his ketones jumped from 1.7 to 2.4, and which is almost ident identical to some of the, the notes I had too when uh, I would go and have sushi on, on the weekends and I would see a spike in my ketones after eating carbohydrates. And he was very confused as to why this was happening. And I got about a half dozen emails of other people showing me their blood glucose and ketone data um, with a spike in ketones after a carbohydrate cheat meal. And what's going on is that glucose, your body continues to uh, generate ketones through ketogenesis. It's not, it doesn't abruptly stop when you eat um, when you eat carbohydrates, there's a bit of a lag time, two or three hours or so. So when you eat carbohydrates, that glucose becomes uh, ketone sparing. So you are burning less ketones. Uh, you're burning both fuels at the same time, but you're, if you're in a state of heavy ketosis, you're producing high levels, millimolar concentrations of ketones are spilling into the blood and that becomes, uh, under certain situations, your primary fuel. And if you reintroduce carbohydrates, uh, it has a, a bit of a ketone sparing effect. So it may register as higher ketones on the meter 